Ira Glass, the producer of uh, This American Life and the host, uh, and I used to argue because I would tell him he should have a coffee mug with his logo because every other great program has it. He would say, no, I want only unique things, things that, that nobody else has. And so we argued back and forth for a period of about three years. Every few months we would have the argument. Then one day, in that argument, I got pompous. I rolled out the pulpit. I got evangelical. I started spewing the most ridiculous nonsense. I was so wound up, why God, I'm going to make the point. I was still said no. But two weeks later, he called. You see, I had set a trap for myself by being so florid in my comments, and I didn't know it. And so he called me and he said, John, I've got the staff here. They're all sitting here. Tell them what you told me a couple weeks ago. I want them to hear it from you firsthand. In our culture, the public radio culture, these coffee mugs are like amulets. Amulets. They have metaphysical properties. I said that, metaphysical properties. People collect them, they keep them at the workbench, the office, the kitchen. They use these mugs to define themselves. Well, that's actually true. Other cultures have other totems, but for this group, it's mugs. And underneath, he insisted it say, John Burke, founder of the company that supplies premiums used during public radio fund drives. They burst out laughing when I was done. They said, we've just recorded what you said. If you'll put that tripe on a mug with our logo, our audience will love it. Stations throughout the country can pitch it on air and say, send us a contribution and you can get this foolishness. And everybody had a good laugh at my expense. It is funny. I know it's funny. I did say it. I can't escape it. And so, as I say, my reputation maybe got dinged a little bit, but it's raised a lot of money for stations.